part that I like is now change that language, the language of I'm not worthy. And this is where you guys, you guys are really good with this kind of work. You learn a lot through your program and through the big book about affirmations. The seventh step is your insight and affirmations. When my mom took that balloon, I got, I understood why she didn't give it to me back then, and I released her and me from needing it. She can do whatever she needs to today, but I released her from me beating her up trying to get it from her. That stopped on that day. The affirmation is, I'm not my mother. Okay, I'm not my mother. Another affirmation, I choose to be healthy. I'm allowed to have anger. I'm allowed to have grief. I don't need to hurt to be loved. I don't need to hurt to be loved. So you take that person, the history they gave you, the feeling they felt, the release of tracing and bad and hearing, oh my God, my mom didn't love me. She didn't know how. Or she didn't love me the way I needed to. Releasing it and saying, I don't have to repeat that. I can be the mother to myself that I always wanted. That's one of my mentors gifts to me is to teach me to be the mother that I always wanted, okay? And not punish other people for not being what I expect them to be. Who am I to do that? I want nobody to do that. And the last is eighth step is acceptance. And as I said, because I let go of the rage and the hurt and the shame, and my mom in a way she affirmed for me that it wasn't my fault, and I acknowledged and accepted that, I could get into acceptance. But if I had skipped that work and been stuck here, this is where most of our clients are stuck, is in the emotion, they can't get acceptance, they can't get there. Can't even get acceptance of their own addiction, let alone their emotional relationships, they can't get it. And the last step is closure, and closure looks like whatever you want it to look like. It could be a letter to that parent of forgiveness or to yourself for having tortured yourself with all of this. That, it could be as simple as that. Closure could be as simple as saying, I forgive myself for having carried this wound and having passed it on. I forgive myself and I forgive my family for their part in that in carrying the wound. Don't be afraid to be a human being. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable and fallible. We are every day, every minute of our day we are. Don't be afraid of that. And how you feel about it is just your map, your mirror to your soul to get you through and to navigate your life story through that emotion is a beautiful thing. It's the bridge between your brains and your physical body is your emotion. There has to be a bridge between the two and that's it, okay? And if I can trust and love myself enough to accept whatever I'm feeling is real and true for me and give myself permission to release it, I am no longer a traumatized human being walking this planet. I am one less trauma victim if I can do this, this work for me. Okay. Thank you. That's a good place to stop. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.